Hey guys, what's up? My name is Lauren. I am a junior studying chemical engineering at the University of Rhode Island and welcome to a little cozy vlog. The weather outside today is absolutely gloomy, disgusting, in the 40s, raining, cloudy. Ugh. I already went to the gym this morning, got a few errands done, and now it is currently 1.30 in the afternoon. And I thought there isn't a better way to spend the afternoon than to be with you guys and to have a nice little cozy vlog where I prepare for the upcoming spring semester. The reality is I start classes in about a week and I haven't done anything to prepare for this semester. So I threw together a quick little to-do list. I brought all my gear upstairs and I'm gonna sit down and try to accomplish everything this afternoon. Let me give you the rundown of what I have to get done. All right, so you now join me at my desk and I've counted a total of seven-ish things that I wanna get done. There's two categories. There's kind of wrapping up the previous fall semester and organizing all of my documents, files from that semester into my file organization method. And then there's also preparing for this upcoming semester through Notion, Google Calendar, my physical planner I have here, really more of the fun stuff. There's definitely gonna be a few time lapses throughout this video, so if you guys are also preparing for your semesters or if you're doing homework, studying, that sort of thing, definitely just have this on in the background, grab a little snack, a little drink, or you can watch me as I get my stuff done. I'm gonna try and screen record and show as much of the process as I can for you guys, maybe a little voiceover. You'll see, you'll see how it goes. But for now, we're gonna start with wrapping up all of last semester's work, files, etc., organizing all of that fun stuff. So let's get right into it. Now I'm next though at the party while you jaw jack. You know it's the shot and the rarest and the raw fast. I'm still trying to figure how this all happened. Huh? You know this ain't the time for the two of us. Oh, I ain't got space to be thinking about you. you so basically just organized all of my semesters into their individual folders. I quickly realized that I had forgotten to do this in between a couple of my previous semesters, so I had to kind of play catch up and also make the one from last semester and one for this upcoming semester. So that's like the most prep thing, is just making a spring 2023 folder with all four of my classes. And I have one central like research folder which is shared amongst all of our lab members that's why i don't have a dedicated research folder in each semester it just all goes in that one lab data folder so those are my four classes for this upcoming semester have that all organized so as i create study guides because i love to do that on google docs i did that a lot last semester actually which is if we go to fall 2022 and look at some of like let's see my cell bio class i made two of these study guides which just on Google Docs, I would take every lecture and write down the most important things, sometimes highlight, and it came in handy because all of the lecture material was in one Google Doc and I just had to study that doc when it came time for the exam. So I'm definitely gonna do that again. That was something new I implemented uh, this past semester. So I just had to organize all of those into their respective folders for the fall and then create the spring. Let's see if there's anything else. Not really, I made it all pretty colors. I think it's time to move on to task number two. So right now is a good place to pause. I just changed my header to a spring photo instead of a fall photo, which means I'm about to embark on setting up my spring 2023 Notion dashboard. So I pretty much have like a template already made for my prior semesters. So I'm basically just gonna duplicate the prior semester and then edit the information. But that also means I have to create new headers for each of my classes. I have like customized little images for each of them. So I'm going to hop onto my iPad really quickly to get that done in Procreate. And I think I'm gonna do it downstairs by the fireplace because it's getting a little chilly up here. So I'm gonna get that done and then come back upstairs, hop on the computer again and run through this whole Notion setup, get it squared away, get it looking nice and pretty. But I'm gonna hop on my iPad and create those little graphics. All right, I need to grab a blanket too. I'm freezing. Something happens when I'm just sitting there and not doing anything for a while. I get cold and I wanna be comfy. This is supposed to be a cozy vlog, you know? I think I just found the border I wanna use, so I'm gonna airdrop it to my iPad. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Come on. There we go. Sent. 
open this up and procreate and boom you guys should probably be able to see it on the screen yeah let's go all right so i'm gonna rotate this let's see which way it's meant to be a vertical border but we said no so for each of my classes i'm just gonna take the little code for it and put it on this here image and that way i can have each one of my classes looking cute i have each class in like the gallery view in notion so it has that little image header we're gonna go in it might be nice if i know what class i'm gonna start with let's try cmb 211 so Make sure I'm on that next layer. I'm gonna start with the script. I purposely don't want this to look too put together, so. Now you guys know the process I go through when I try to create my thumbnails. It takes me so long to write like the most basic things. It's so bad, oh my gosh. But hey, we have time to do this now. That's why we're doing it now. This is such a small part of my Notion screen too. It's like not even really gonna matter in the long run. I think that's good. And that's just kind of showing the process of what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna do that for my other three classes and I'll catch up with you guys after I finish that. All right, so this last thing that you guys are seeing is me just creating my class calendar. This will also be going in my Notion. It's kind of that like main image on the front of my undergraduate dashboard. So just updating that for this semester's classes, looking pretty good. I decided to go with a green theme for the color. And cool thing about this semester is I don't have any classes on Fridays. I definitely wanted to create both the class code images and this class schedule calendar thingy on my iPad just for a little change of scenery before heading back into Notion to put all those things in. Sorry if you can hear my fireplace making a little bit of noise, uh, but just wanted to hop on here because it is currently just past three and I finally finished all of the calendar imagery, the class code images, and I have to go put that into Notion and start building out my whole Notion homepage for this semester. <sighs> Honestly, I have all the databases already in place, so it's not like I'm starting from scratch or anything. If you know anything about Notion, a lot of it is run through databases, and I put in all that work a couple years ago. So now it's just about adding the databases to the new semester homepage and just filtering it so that it works for my new classes. Before I dive into all of that, I, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break probably scroll through TikTok, maybe get a little snack. I honestly don't have a lot of things left, so I think I am gonna accomplish this this afternoon. I'm gonna take a break. It's the epitome of a cozy vlog. We got the fireplace going on in the background. I have my cozy blanket over there, and we're making a peppermint Swiss Miss hot chocolate. I love it. And the weather, the weather is still absolutely nasty out. let's get a little recap before I plunge back into Notion. So, so far we have organized my Google Drive. I updated my Notion from fall of 2022. I created the graphics needed for my spring of 2023 Notion setup. And that means all that's remaining is setting up Notion for spring 2023, updating my Google Calendar with all of my classes, which shouldn't take too long and also putting in important events, dates like mid-semester, end of semester, different holidays into my written planner. So I'm gonna jump on into Notion and I'll see you guys in a little bit. That actually didn't take very long at all, partly because I didn't fill in a lot of the like specific information for each class, but honestly, like the most important stuff is done. So, should be able to see, this is what I'm looking at right now. Uh, these are my four courses. I also have research on top of this, but only four main classes this semester, which is amazing. I cannot wait. So I'm taking kinetics out of a fun little uh, runner because like kinetics, motion, you get it. Spring 2023 semester. Again, didn't fill in much of this. And then I have a view of my undergrad notes, which is filtered by the class. So obviously there's nothing there right now. 
Going back to that course page, we also have the like academic tasks dashboard. So as my assignments, projects, all that fun stuff comes in, I put them into this academics task database and then I can filter it by like what's in progress, what haven't I started yet, what's completed, and it's just another way to like show what I need to get done. Um, so I also have that filtered by the specific class. So again, there's gonna be nothing there. That is repeated for my other classes. So I have heat transfer, I have current good manufacturing practices in pharmaceuticals or CGMPs, and I have integrative microbiology, which is kind of funny because I've already taken CMB 311, but now I'm taking 211. So tell me how that makes sense. I don't know. Coming back to my dashboard, I wanted to make it nice and bright for spring. So have a nice little border, my calendar with my spring 2023 classes all lined up. This is like a daily task to-do list, which honestly I don't use too much because I have my paper planner for that. And then scrolling down, I have my current classes which I just did. And then all my like previous ones are there as well. That academic task view again of that database, which can also be a calendar or homework view, etc. And then this I didn't touch much because I don't have anything to update, which my lab from this past summer, obviously don't have anything. And then my lab currently were, well, I'm on break, the grad students are not. So I have nothing to add there. This grad school list, and grad school hub will be updated shortly when I start to really pursue researching for grad school, possibly. And then in each of my classes, I have these this undergraduate note database filtered by each class, but on this main hub page, I have it all just laid out right there. Personal projects, yeah, clubs. These times will probably be updated. Uh, this was for last semester. So I guess that's like a mini notion tour. I don't know. If you guys want me to go more into detail about how all of this works, let me know. But that was like the main thing is, is getting this Notion page set up. Now the real big task comes in when I have all my syllabi and all my calendars from each of my classes because then I go in and I fill in all the academic tasks and that takes a while. But I don't have any of that information yet so this is just kind of like the bare bones structure. So now I'm going to work on putting all my classes into my Google Calendar Again, shouldn't take very long because I basically have it right here on my undergraduate dashboard, but this I just set up to help remind me on a day-to-day -day basis of what I have going on. So it gets more cluttered as the semester goes on, but for right now, I'm just gonna put in all of my classes. I don't even know what time our lab meetings will be. So for now, it's just putting all the classes in there and getting it all nice and cute, color coordinated. Let's do it. I'm so excited. This afternoon has been so productive and I feel so good. Earlier, wasn't feeling that great. I felt like I was in a rut. I went to the gym this morning and then I was like, oh, what am I gonna do the rest of the day? And then boom, I'm gonna prep. I'm gonna make sure we're ready to go with this semester. So Google Calendar is done. Literally the easiest thing in the universe. I decided to keep them all one color because I think I'm gonna do like classes in one color and then different club events in another, lab meetings in another. The final thing to check off. I got the super cute physical planner from Barnes & Noble because they had a deal going on. I'm going to go in and just fill out all the important dates. So first day of classes, mid-semester, end of semester, our reading days, when the exams are, any holidays, birthdays, because I literally just got this a few days ago. I'm gonna get that done and then that's like it for prepping. I know this video has been kind of like stationary, basically in my room and downstairs, but other people do this and I'm definitely like a more academic focused channel, I guess. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. I hope you have like made yourself a hot chocolate or a tea or coffee and sat back, studied with me or whatever. So time to fill this bad boy out. Not me actually finishing this at 4 11 p.m i can't believe i just basically prepped for the full semester in a single afternoon just finished up with my planner or as much as i could write in my planner which means for the final recap we have organizing my google drive and file explorer done updating my notion from last semester done I created the images for all my classes and the class schedule calendar thing for Notion for this semester. 
it's done. I then proceeded to update and create my Notion page for this semester. All done. I updated my Google Calendar with all of my classes. Big check there. And I just finished filling in a few things on my written planner. So if you guys were ever wondering what I have to do to prepare myself for an upcoming semester, that is it. That is all. Again, I feel like this is a different type of video. I wasn't out and about doing a bunch of crazy things all day. Like I was just in my house getting a bunch of stuff done. I hope you guys were able to watch and study along, prep for your own semesters, or just watch some cool time lapses and descriptions of what I do to prepare. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all those normal YouTube things because it really helps me out. I hope you're staying happy and healthy out there. Good luck with the beginning of your own semesters. Good luck with preparing. You guys got this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.